CPU rig, mining rig version two. I just finished the version one a couple months ago and that one was kind of interesting. It seemed like a lot of people were interested, so I built my version two. This one is definitely way higher spec. This board right here is a B450 with a 5950X. This is actually one of my friend's mining rigs and because here in the studio, I don't pay for electricity, I decided to be nice and uh, let him use my free electricity here. So that one's running full. Notice how the fan here to cool the VRMs because the VRMs do get way too hot. I got a triple rad here. This is from Gamdas. And this video is pretty much sponsored by uh, Gamdas. They just sent over their brand new white all-in-one liquid cooler. This is a 240 millimeter uh, radiator right here. An extra four pack of fans. So it's the Chiron M3. It's actually really nice. I wanted them to send me some white ones and they finally did. So I set them up in this mining rig right here. And I gotta say, it looks pretty nice, I think. I like the white. And then this rig right here is an X570 with a 5950X. I just picked this up the other weekend at Micro Center in Philly. And uh, you know, the price was actually pretty good at like 450. So I ended up picking it up with also a spare motherboard for $50, which was a clearance item. And that was a B450, which I used on my other mining rig, switching out that board for this board. Anyway, this is like just two pieces of plywood that I kind of screwed together. As you can see in the back, all the cords are routed through the back there. Power supply is 600 watts. I probably could have gotten away with doing like a splitter riser thing, but I'm not too comfortable um, doing that yet. This one, sadly, you can't boot without a graphics card, so you have to have a GPU in there. Now these extra spaces right down here, I was thinking uh, getting a riser, you know, uh, 3D printing a little stand that you could sit right here with a riser, then connect like a graphics card. You know, my friend, he actually has a RX 580 that would actually fit probably perfectly right there. And you could even do like a triple fan card right there. I think that would be actually kind of cool and like fill up the board completely. Just an idea. Something I didn't think about if you're building something like this, uh, make sure you have enough a clearance. Notice uh, this USB drive can't fit in there and uh, barely the ethernet had to get like a really old cord, different stuff like that. Um, cooling the VRMs is a must for me because I'm not changing any of the clocks because I'm not paying for electricity here. So why would I even worry about efficiency? So. I don't really care. If you're wondering how many watts, we're pulling 230 watts on my rig right here. So that's 230 watts. This only has one stick, thanks to Rabbit Mining. Um, I don't actually have that much extra RAM and I didn't feel like spending more money. And it seems like it doesn't affect the performance too much. Now, if you're mining anything like XMR or something, I think that does actually matter. But um, right now we're mining Raptorium on this one. I think he just switched over. He was mining AVN on this one for last month or two and I'm strictly mining RTM, putting it into a smart node, um, something that you can do and then earn earn like 34% in interest, which is really cool. Uh, you can check that out. That's like inodes done by inodes. I think Rabbit Mining has videos on that. So the plan is to put this up there. That's where I have, I have extra two outlets right here and uh, shouldn't be too worried about power consumption. This is where it's gonna live. There's even a vent sucking out hot air, so it should actually just uh, work pretty nice. And here you can see the hashes, 3570. I think it should be a little bit higher than that. Now, I have, I've only had this mining for like the last 10 minutes or something. Now, Raptorium does have a really nice website where you can uh, put in your CPU. So 15950X at 12 cents at, let's do 220 watts. Makes you about eight cents a day. Not really worth it, huh? And for 30 days, that's $2.40. That would take you literally years to ROI. Now, luckily, I don't pay for electricity. So when you do zero here, it's now 71 a day. Times up by 30 and you get 21.30. Still a really long time to ROI. At this point, I'm just spec mining and I've also been switching between some coins. Coins as RTM or AVN or even Yada coin, which I think actually just went up today. Um, but yeah, that's just a couple of things. So I'm gonna move it over here and then we're gonna see how it looks. Also real quick, these little spacers, I do sell these. You can check the link in the description. So they're a, uh, I think 0.75, so three quarter inch spacer. So you can screw in, it's hollow in the center. So you can screw into your rad and then screw on. Um, also have those. Also. These right here, these are, I just glued, hot glued these. It's a bit messy, I know. This was a bit cleaner over here. 
So these are just CPU spacers that you can screw in. These are also linked in the description. I have two types. I have these where you don't actually screw, which make it perfect for aligning the motherboard. I like to have these and these if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna put it on a piece of wood like that. So these, you can just screw into that. And then also have white and black. So, and then here are the uh, ones. So if you're interested in that, that does help me out actually quite a bit. Uh, I have some 3D printers over there and I uh, get them shipped out to you right away if you do want some. Um, you can see right there, there's some spacers, spacers and stuff like that. They work pretty well. And uh, yeah, I made them myself, so yep. If you're interested, go check out the link in the description. Now, another thing I really want to do, what what's with these cables? I want to go wireless on both of these. I need to fix this because it's way too tight up there to do put the USB drive in. So I want to get like a USB hub for that so I can boot off of a USB or just go with MVME, haven't decided, and then fill up the rest of those extra spaces right there because that's driving me a little crazy. Now, what do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm probably not gonna always have this, but aesthetically when people walk in, they see that and they're like, what is that? I think I'm like ultimate hacker. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the description. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I'm open to like build like, like if you have an idea for a mining rig, I would be down to build it. And uh, thanks Gam does for uh, pretty much sponsoring this video, sending me all in one liquid cooler, the pack of four fans. Like I said before, links down in the description for a lot of the 3D printed parts and some of the parts in general. I have those links to like Amazon and different stuff if you wanna buy those. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.